In this video, we will learn how to use the Interactions feature in Web Focus Designer. Interactions allow you to program different objects such as container, button, or control to perform specific actions on a page by interacting with other objects or content. The procedure of creating an interaction is done in the Interactions panel and requires no coding or syntax changes. Let's start by creating an assembled page or opening an existing page already populated by content. For our first interaction, we will program a container to run a second content item when clicked. Right-click the container, point to Interaction, and click Add. As you can see, the Interactions panel opens automatically and the Select Event dialog box has the Click option highlighted. Click OK. Notice that the Task 1 node is added to your interaction. The interaction in progress is displayed as incomplete until at least one task is completed. Click Select an Action and review your options, which include Running Content, Showing and Hiding an Object, running an item deferred, and scheduling an item. In this example, we will leave the Run Content option selected and click OK. Now let's choose which content to run. Click Select Content and use the tree to navigate to the content item. Once you locate the correct item, double-click it or click it and click OK. Finally, let's configure the location where this item will run. Click Select a target and choose between Container, Page Overlay, New Window, and Same Window. For our purposes, we will choose Page Overlay and click OK. The task is now complete. Notice that the incomplete label no longer displays. Now we can test the behavior in the preview mode. Click the Run in New Window button. Click the container you just configured. The chart you selected runs in the page overlay. For our second example, we will configure a multiple task interaction series for a button set. Notice the button 1 and button 2 controls on the bottom of the page, followed by an empty container. We will use these elements to create a simple scenario for hiding and displaying a container and running content inside it. On the Interactions panel, click Add Interaction. The Select Object dialog box opens, where the map of your entire page is displayed. Locate the button 1 element and click OK. Similar to the previous example, set the event to click. For the task 1 action, select Show Object and in the Select Object dialog box, select the last container. If you're not sure which element corresponds to your selection, try clicking it in the dialog box and see it highlighted on the page. Click OK. Add another task and configure it to run a content item inside the last container. Follow the prompts the interaction panel gives you to select the right elements. Now we will need another interaction for the second button. We are configuring it to hide the container. Add an interaction from the panel or by right-clicking the button. Select the Click Event and, in the Task 1 node, select the Hide Object action. In the Select Object dialog box, select the last container. Optionally, rename the buttons to better reflect their functions. Double-click the button labels and type the new names. Notice that the names of the buttons inside the Interactions tree change to match the ones on the canvas. Your button scenario is now complete, and you can test it in the preview mode. 
observe that clicking the Show Content button runs the content, and clicking the Hide Content button hides the container. Finally, clicking the Show Content again displays the hidden container and runs the content inside it. For our final example, we will create an interaction for a filter control. Filter controls and some unbound controls can be configured to use conditions. Whenever an interaction event is set to selection change, you can add conditions to the tasks within your interaction. In our example, we will configure an interaction to run a different visualization every time a different filter value is selected. For this purpose, we already created four charts representing revenue metrics from four different regions. Begin by right-clicking the Region Filter Control, pointing to Interaction, and then clicking Add. Keep the Selection Change event selected and click OK. Now we will add our first condition. Right-click the Task 1 node and click Add Condition. In the Condition dialog box, type one of the values, in our case EMEA. Click Select an Action. Keep the Run Content option selected and click OK. Click Select Content and navigate to the chart that corresponds to the value. Now, select the target, we're selecting Page Overlay, and click OK. The first condition is complete. To create the next condition, click Add Task and close the Select Action dialog box without making a selection. Right-click the Task 2 node and add another condition. Repeat the steps to link another value to running a corresponding item. Perform these steps for all other values. Once your interaction is complete, test the behavior in the preview mode. Select different values of the region filter and observe that the linked items run in the page overlay. Notice that when you go back to your page, the content here refreshes to reflect the filter value currently selected. The filter behaves normally, independently of the interaction being executed. Now, what happens if you want to add an interaction to a multi-content container, such as tabbed, carousel, or accordion? You can add interactions to a multi-content container as a whole, as well as individual content items within the container. In the Select Object dialog box, you can select an entire container or one of its sub-elements. Another way to see the distinction between these elements is to right-click a multi-content container. The shortcut menu option is divided into two sections, Container and Content, each featuring the Interaction option. Additionally, you can add the Run Deferred and Schedule interactions directly from the Resources panel. On the sidebar, click Controls, and then drag either Run Deferred or Schedule onto the canvas. Either of these controls adds an item on the canvas and simultaneously opens the Interactions panel where you can proceed with configuring your interaction. Notice that the Event and Action nodes are already populated for the specified interaction control. There could be many interactions on any given page, so it's a good practice to rename them for easy editing. To edit an interaction, select it from the list. All tasks that belong to this interaction display below the list. 
you can click any node to edit it by changing the elements in the Interactions tree. You can also add, delete or disable tasks. If you disable a task, it's removed from the queue for execution at runtime while remaining in the Interaction tree. Finally, you can right-click an interaction in a list to access its shortcut menu options, which include Duplicate, Rename, Disable, and Delete. Keep in mind that there is no warning or confirmation message shown when an interaction is being deleted. Use the Undo Redo buttons if you deleted an interaction by mistake. To learn more, Search for Tipco Web Focus at docs.tipco.com. Mm -hmm.